All right, here's what we have cooking on the Monday Night All Sports Report. Tuesday will be a very big, a very big day for La Jolla Country Day. Both the boys and girls basketball teams will be played in the SoCal Regional Finals. The boys will be up against Crescento Valley in an eight versus six seed matchup. The game taking place in pa in the Pasadena area, while the Lady Twirls will be in Fullerton taking on Rose Rosemary. Rosary, excuse me, it's Rosary Academy. That's a five versus two matchup. It feels really good. It feels great, actually. Um, Coach Bamford has prepared us well for this, and um, I'm excited to see what's next. We always support each other, and like, super cool that we're one of the few teams that are still have both of us in, and I know it's really exciting for us. This is the furthest we've gotten in state. We've been in state every years since I've been in high school and this is the first we've gone. I think the adversity we faced in the beginning season due to injuries, not having a whole team, but now having our whole team uh, just made us stronger and we're really close. I consider this my second family. Southwest San Diego is heading to the D5 regional finals. Then we'll head to Bakersfield to take on Foothill High on Tuesday at 7 p.m. The Raiders are led by senior Diego Edwards, who is named second team all San Diego section. With a roster that includes eight seniors, Southwest does not want to see this playoff run come to an end. We want it so bad. We got so close last year, and we think we're playing better this year, so we think we can win. Since freshman year, we were, I worked hard all the way to my senior year, especially my senior year. This season meant a lot because a lot of people, like they tested us if we could win back to back, and to prove him wrong, it felt good. The Holy War on Hardwood. St. Augustine taking on Cathedral Catholic at their place. First game, Saintsman Xavier Tan with a nice solo block for the score in the second game. Nobody is blocking this kill by the Dons. Gabe Brown, big stuff there. St. Augustine's Nathan Cherry. Sets up Corbett Kerr for the point. Saints win this one in five. They last beat Cathedral back in 2013. They end a 10-game losing streak to the Dons. Congratulations there. Meanwhile, back down at the Southwest as the Red Raiders welcome in Sarah. Second set, the Southwest captain, Javier Martinez, scores the point. But the Raiders drop the set in a tiebreak, 27-25. Then it's Sarah's Garrett roll-offs with the kill. Sarah wins in three straight. And we finish up on the pitch. El Camino heading down to the five. Take on Tory Pines. And hey, look, there's our digital correspondent who's also an assistant coach at Tory Pines, Casey McKinnon. Mia Khan finds the net three times. Teammate Liz Trask also has the hat trick. While the Falcons' Reese Lowski goes low for one of her two. Tory Pines wins in a pretty easy contest for them. 17-1. Eight Falcon score in the game. And speaking of Casey McKinnon, she uh, met one on one with 2018 Admiral Awards winner Diego Preciado. Casey and Diego talking about a variety of topics, including his future at Stanford. It's just another reason to make KUSI Sports your go to destination for all things local.